Iran's missile firepower increases sevenfold in addition to its success in enhancing the firepower of missiles by seven times, the Islamic Revolution Guards Corps Aerospace Force has largely reduced the preparation time for the launch of missiles, the force's commander said. The capabilities of the IRGC Aerospace Force have been increased exponentially, Commander of the Force Brigadier General Amir Ali Hajizada said, after unveiling two cavernous military bases accommodating missiles and unmanned aerial vehicles on Saturday. The IRGC's missile firepower and its ability to launch projectiles simultaneously have increased sevenfold, he noted, adding that the duration of preparing missiles for launch, as well as the intervals between the launches, have been reduced remarkably. Commenting on the features of the new underground bases, the commander said 60 drones can fly from the base at the same time. Since the range of these unmanned aircraft is long and not limited, we have no limitation on the targets and can hit any hostile target the general explained. The subterranean bases unveiled today accommodate ground-to-ground -ground missile systems with new advanced equipment, as well as assault drones capable of penetrating into the enemy's radar and air defense networks. Iran displays missiles amid nuclear talks with world powers. The missiles, known as Desfal, Qayyam and Zalfagar, and with official ranges of up to 1,000 km (620 miles), were already known models, the paramilitary Revolutionary Guard said. Diplomats from countries that remain in the 2015 nuclear deal, Britain, France, Germany, Russia and China, are working with Tehran to revive the accord, which had sought to limit Iran's nuclear ambitions in exchange for trade. American diplomats are present in Vienna, but they are not in direct talks with Iranians. The accord collapsed in 2018 when then-President Donald Trump unilaterally withdrew the U.S. and reimposed sanctions on Iran. A report by State TV said the missiles on display were the same types as those used to strike U.S. bases in Iraq. The display came on the second anniversary of ballistic missile attacks on American bases in Iraq, in retaliation for the U.S. drone strike that killed top Iranian General Qasem Soleimani in Baghdad in 2020. The Iranian military mistakenly shot down Ukraine International Airlines Flight PS-752 with two surface-to-air missiles after the attacks, killing all 176 people on board. After days of denial, the Guard publicly apologized, blaming air defense operator who authorities said mistook the Boeing 737-800 for an American cruise missile. An Iranian military court in November held a hearing for 10 people suspected of having role in downing the Ukrainian airliner. State TV said a commemoration ceremony for the victims was held in Tehran's main cemetery, with the presence of their families as well as officials. Iran practiced with missiles, drones and other weapons during the second day of what it has dubbed the 17th Great Prophet drills. In this stage of the exercise, surface-to-surface -surface ballistic missiles hit predetermined targets, according to Fars News and Tasnim News. Iran said it also simulated floating targets of the hypothetical enemy that were destroyed by firing surface-to-surface -surface and coast-to-sea missiles. Iran practices with coastal defenses to shoot down drones as well. In June 2019, it shot down a U.S. Global Hawk drone, destroying around $200 million worth of American equipment in an incident that almost caused Washington to retaliate. Iran claims that it conducted special operations and infiltration at the operational and strategic level, conducting operations in conditions of biological warfare and training air defense units under an integrated network, were other activities of the second day of the joint training. In recent weeks, Iran has also tested air defenses over Natanz and Bushehr, facilities linked to its nuclear program. It is unclear why Iran is practicing for biological warfare. According to the Iranian reports, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps took part, and its commander, Hossein Salami, watched the drills alongside Major Gen. Ghulam Ali Rashid and a group of commanders and experts of the general staff of the armed forces. This apparently shows coordination between the IRGC and the armed forces. Iran says that it fired IRGC naval missiles and also anti-ship cruise missiles. 
In July Iran used drones to attack a commercial tanker in the Gulf of Oman. It has experience harassing ships and mining them as well. In September 2019, it used cruise missiles to attack Saudi Arabia's Abqaiq oil processing facility. Thank you.